Lake Powell just hit its lowest level on record. What that means for Colorado and states. Plagued by climate change fuel drought and increasing demand for water, Lake Powell, the second largest reservoir in the United States, has fallen to its lowest level on record since it was first filled more than 50 years ago. As of Sunday, Lake Powell had fallen to roughly 3,554 feet in elevation, just 33% of capacity, according to the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation, below the previous all-time low set in 2005. Lake Powell and nearby Lake Mead, the nation's largest reservoir, have drained at an alarming rate this year. The two reservoirs fed by the Colorado River watershed provide a critical supply of drinking water and irrigation for many across the region, including rural farms, ranches and native communities. The significance of the dwindling supply in both reservoirs cannot be overstated. Water flowing down the Colorado River fills the two reservoirs, which are part of a river system that supplies over 40 million people living across seven western states and Mexico. A study by U.S. Geological Survey scientists published in 2020 found that on average, the Colorado River's flow has declined by about 20% over the last century, and over half of that decline can be attributed to warming temperatures across the basin. John Fleck, the director of the Water Resources Program at the University of New Mexico, told Lake Powell might not be the larger of the two major Colorado River reservoirs, but it plays a significant role in the West's water crisis. The bottom dropping out on Lake Powell may be the more serious challenge, because a buffer in Lake Powell allows you to move water down to Lake Mead to make up for the shortcomings, said Fleck.